Okay, this is the big one. Guaranteed immunity. We've got the power apron. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Your time starts now. I'm just going to go with my gut instinct and cook Haney's chicken soup with fresh noodles and a chicken roulade. Chinese and chicken. Mm. I want to have a play with fresh noodles today because I just think it's something that will elevate the dish from, you know, being quite a simple dish to kind of bringing it up a level. <laughs> the dish I'm cooking today is a chicken Mary lamp and make an orange and star anise glaze to put over at the end. <laughs> Normally this dish would take two hours to cook in the oven, but today I've only got half of that time, so I'm going to twice cook it instead. Firstly in the pressure cooker and then in the oven to crisp up the skin. dish rides on the chicken. It's, it's got to be cooked well and it's got to taste really good. I want the meat to be falling off the bones, so having that time in the pressure cooker is really important. So Billy's twice cooking her chicken today, and I think the problem with that is the chicken could become dry if it's overcooked, so she just needs to be careful that she gets that right. It's bloody hot. First thing I've got to do is to get my chicken roulade on. What, Jesse? I want to remove the skin without breaking it, so just sort of it's like taking off a cardigan, which is really gross. And you want to keep it whole. Go, Jesse. So much chicken. To finish off my roulade, I'm just going to tie some string around it, so when I fry it at the end, it won't just burst apart. Wrap it in glad wrap really tightly and put it in a sous vide bag and just pop it in the sous vide machine. At the same time, I've got my stock happening in the pressure cooker and I've got to get onto my fresh noodle component of the dish. Guaranteed immunity is on the line. 30 minutes to go. My chicken's in the pressure cooker and I need to get onto this uh, orange glaze. So I get some orange juice, some orange flesh, uh, cinnamon, star anise and sugar and cook that down in a saucepan until it's like a syrup. You making a noodle, Jessie? Yeah. Nice. My roulade's in the sous vide machine, so I've got to get onto my fresh noodle component of the dish. Usually I, when I make noodles at home, like, um, I probably have a little bit longer than <laughs> an hour and I just like to take my time, so hopefully I can get it done. The fresh noodles, it's tapioca flour and rice flour with a bit of water and then you steam them until they're cooked through. Hopefully this one will work. It will work, Jessie. Uh-oh. You happy with them, Jessie? I think that one's a little bit under. Yeah. I usually get the first one wrong. Let's that another second. It's all going to plan. I check on my second batch of rice noodles. The noodles haven't worked. Oh my god, I'm making a huge mess. I'm just freaking out. Mm -hmm. They're not up to scratch. And if I don't get the dish right, then I won't have a chance with both the pin and the power apron. Mm. I'm in big trouble. I'm half toying with the idea of leaving the noodles off the plate. I know that it's a little bit grainy. I don't know. I'm just not sure if they're good enough. But if they're not there, I think it will bring the dish down a level. So I'm still going to make a few more batches. I think I've been putting too much in. I'll just get on to the next one and hopefully get that one right. Billy, Jesse, 15 minutes to go. and it's time to get my chicken out of the pressure cooker. I need to get it out so that I can glaze it and have it really brown and sticky, ready for service. This is the second part of twice cooking this chicken, so I have to be really careful not to overcook it. If I serve overcooked chicken to the judges... Keep an eye on that glaze, Billy. That'll be my chance gone. 
guaranteed immunity and the power apron. There is five minutes to go. The rice noodles are pretty much just staying the same and I just don't think they're going to get any better. I can't afford to waste any more time on them. Nah, I'm going to get rid of them. Yeah, I have to call it now. It's not worth the risk of not putting up a complete plate. I know that there's some vermicelli in the pantry, so I can cook that in no time at all and put that on the plate. I'm disappointed that the noodles haven't worked, but I've got to move on to my spring onion sauce and my chilli and ginger sauce. One minute! Time to get plating! Jesse, make sure you put your broth in a container. Oh. Oh. Taste everything! Come on, my guy! Come on, get it off the plate, girls! Come on, Jesse! Come on, Jesse! Come on! It's that time again! I'm a little bit disappointed about my noodles, but all in all, I, yeah, I'm really happy with my dish. Um, there's a lot at stake with this cook today. I just hope I haven't overcooked the chicken. A lot on the line, obviously. The power apron, which everybody wants, and more than that, they want the immunity pin. So both up for grabs from this cook. Let's get the first dish in. Here we have Hyannese chicken soup. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, a bit of technique shown on the chicken. Let's try it. Really beautifully, good dish. Yeah, a, a lovely, fresh, light summer dish. I like that. I think it's, it's a really nice, refreshing look at a, a classic, which is high knees chicken. But you know what? A, what would have been great is if they'd had a go at making their own noodles. Right. Shall we score the dish? Yes, let's. Shall we get the next dish in? Here we have twice cooked orange and cinnamon glazed chicken. And serve up. Well, I think the, the key here will be if it's twice cooked, the risk is always that um, that could make fall apart and delicious or cook too much. When I'm done, you can chat away if not. Salty, sweet, uh, fragrant, acidic with the orange. Chicken cooked absolutely beautifully. So it literally, look there, falls off the bone. Love every bit of it. This is super delicious and something you'd sit in a restaurant and pay good money for. It's familiar and it's delicious. And you get that bit of heat not only from the chilli but also from the ginger. It's going to be interesting, this yeah. one. Two good dishes. 